so I'm gonna start off with a bare face and I'm gonna get this Moran Fantasy FX cream makeup face paint and it is in red obviously and I'm just gonna go ahead and square a whole bunch of it onto a palette and get a foundation brush and we're just gonna go ahead and paint it all over our face our neck and our shoulders Make sure you get it all up in your crevices, all up in your nose and your nostrils and everything. <laughs> but yeah, make sure you get everything red. And for my hairline, I tried to make sure I got it as close just to my scalp as I could, but it was just really hard because I didn't want to get it all up in my hair and whatnot. But I tried as best as I could. Now I'm gonna do my neck and shoulders. This part is optional, you don't really need to set it, but I wanted my face more matte, so I went ahead and got a matte setting powder and I put it all over my face. And by the way, under my eyes looks lighter because I tried to put white and highlight underneath my eyes and it just turned pink and I did not like it. So I tried to put red back over it and it didn't really work. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get this Morphe palette or any black eyeshadow and then you're gonna go ahead and contour with that black. Next, I'm going to get a cream eyeliner. This is from Juvia's Place. This is just black and cream, and I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. So I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows dark, and I'm gonna fill them in at first how I usually do. And then whenever I get closer to the middle, after I finish everything, I'm gonna make a little point at the arch, and then I'm gonna make another point at the front of my eyebrow. You'll see, I'm about to do it. Next, I'm going to do my eyes, and I'm going to get that same black gel eyeliner. I'm going to put it on my eyelids, and we're going to do a black smoky eye. So go ahead and use this as the base, and then we're going to go ahead and get a black eyeshadow, and then blend it all out. I'm probably going to use black and gray. Now I'm gonna get that same gel eyeliner on a smaller brush. I'm gonna go ahead and put it underneath my lower lash line. Up, 
Now I'm gonna get a black pencil eyeliner. I'm gonna put that in my waterline. Now I'm gonna get some pretty lashes and we're gonna pop these babies on your eyeballs. Next, I'm gonna get a black and white face paint, and honestly, my camera stopped recording and I didn't notice, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go along the lines. Basically, you just draw these little lines that look like lightning bolts with the black and with the white. Now I am going to get this um, spirit gum and those jewels that I had gotten off of Amazon and we're going to go ahead and put some on the inner corner of my eye and we're going to go ahead and place some jewels there. And I'm also going to put some of that on the bottom of each like black line that I drew and I'm going to put some jewels on those as well. We about to be a glitz and glam devil. Now I'm going to get a black liquid lipstick. You can use any one. I'm using a Lime Crime one in black velvet, I think. And after I finish that, I'm going to get a smaller precise brush and I'm going to make the tops, like the cupid bow part of my lip, more pointy and I'm going to go ahead and extend the sides of the mouth into like a little smirk kind of smile. Now you can't be no glam devil without no highlight, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this NYX highlight. I forgot what color it is, but it's pretty much a pink highlight, and I thought that looked good on the red. So I'm gonna put it on my nose and then on the sides of my cheekbones, and yeah, blend it in, and you're good to go. I'm also gonna put some underneath my brow bone. And then I want to be extra AF and I'm going to put it on my collarbone. Look at me. Ooh, red and glowing. And you can't be no devil without no horns. So we're going to go ahead and get our hair. And then just take like the two top parts and we're going to make two little buns at the top of our head. And you want to make them like long buns, you know, like the buns you don't really like. But those kind of buns work great for a horn. So pretty much just pull it and make it long. I don't know how I did it, but you should know. And then just secure it with a hair tie and do that on both sides. And you got two little horns without having to buy anything. You just use the hair that's on your head. And that is the final touch. This is the finishing touches to your devil. Now you are glitz and glam devil. Look at me. Oh my gosh, I'm so red. Yes. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more because I got more Halloween videos coming up. So you don't want to miss out. But yeah, thank you everybody for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwahaha.